Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back for another episode of The Wolf Among Us. And we have pretty much gone into the situation where we are uh, fighting Beast from Beauty and the Beast because he won't listen to us and he thinks that his wife Beauty is having an affair with me. And we lost the fight trying not to beat him up not really knowing what the quick time events were really going to do. It's not very clear, it just says click A as hard as you can and you'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens. We're trying to investigate the murder, we're trying to avoid having any... show up so I don't have to edit it. Like, really? This is just brutal. But if I don't do anything, they do something like this. You ruined everything! She's my fucking wife! Hey, you got me in the room. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Mm. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still... This is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? So far, so good. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something uh, like this? Didn't have to That's kill exactly the beast. Exactly what I'm about to no try to find reason. out. Okay. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Maybe there's something about playing the music that cast the magic spells. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. I we shouldn't even be in here. here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Hmm. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Here, it's asking notes here. It says, beautiful here. It's asking what kind of apple. Is it a Fuji apple, a red delicious, or an empire apple? Is that a type of apple? Empire apples? I know the other two are. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Uh, 
Let's see. I think it's actually a misnomer that Sleeping Beauty and Snow White are the same people. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. People. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? So, in the Fables universe, it is the same person, but I think the two stories are separate. That happens a couple of times in fairy tales. That people God. think they're the same person when it really wasn't. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. <sighs> so if I get to the door, last time that's what moved the story forward. But the cassette, I think, is the next thing that's going to move the story forward here. Let's check the door. Poor girl. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Looks like Snow's costume, I guess. This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but... Just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Hmm, is there anything more to, to, to look at? This is how you start fires. Talk to Beauty. Let's talk Maybe to her. she didn't see it coming. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Hmm. Anything else you can is tell Is there me? anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. You're gonna still work here? Uh, I wonder if she's under a spell where she forgets what happens each night. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. Hmm. Alright. Damn it, get that. it together, beauty. Be strong. For my arrival... Let's play this cassette and <sighs> see what happens. Big music. This? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Who'd have covered up the sound of the murder? God. OK. 
Okay. More evidence, but we're not uh, anywhere faster. Further to solving this. Well, what am I supposed to do now? I can't walk out of the room. I've clicked on everything I can see. It's like th they intentionally made wanted me to play the music first. Because now we're just having to sit here. I mean, there's nothing. Have I bugged the system? How could I have, how could that possibly be the case? Oh wait, there's something really well hidden. Come on, way too well hidden. And this system is not working very well either. An apple. I don't see an apple, but all right, whatever. Oh, it's on the floor back Do there. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? What <laughs> makes him hungry? She was eating this when she was attacked? We don't know that. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together this like you said. The this most video gamey telltale dress, game I've and ever played. The whole story from the book with the apple and, and, and the deep I really sleep like and it everything. for that. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. This is so actually he planned it all out. He had like all the challenge. details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Hmm. Now we find an envelope. Pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do Somebody's you know? watching me through the magic one. mirror. It was taken last winter. Knows the border there oh, for no. a second. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get See closer it? and closer. The magic the stand mirror. in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Crane breaks the magic mirror, which is, is a pretty good thing to do. Because that makes it harder for us to could be after this. you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. 
Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Yeah, they promised that that scene was going to happen in this episode. And it doesn't. And it didn't turn out to happen. Talk about overpromising. Uh, so, yeah, this episode's going to be a little short. Me and 60.9% of players sympathized with Crane. Might as well. Even as a, just to be a good cop, you sympathize with him. Now, of course, I don't think Crane was really... Uh, is really involved with the murder. It might be the case. But that puts us at the end of the second of five episodes already knowing who the murderer is which means we're gonna ha be chasing after him for three episodes and that seems a little long I think he's probably just obsessed with her and a little crazy uh, me and 62.4 percent of players persuaded him to talk so I guess if you beat on him he wouldn't have talked, not that he really told you anything of any important. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are going to probably come back up in the story. Uh, did we let Snow come with us to the Trip Trap? You and 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decisions. Uh, so, so, shocking, 8.1% of players didn't let her come. I think that's probably because there was several opportunities to tell her no and she wouldn't have listened so you would have had to have been pretty persistent and how did we handle Georgie Porgy? you and 69 percent of players didn't hit Georgie that's that's the choice and did you keep peaching punching beast when he was down interesting decision there because you didn't realize uh, uh, you didn't really have to think about it uh, in a lot of games you would have just kept punching in fact in The Walking Dead uh, season 1 one of the very first things that you have to do to not just game over is uh, hit something hit somebody like three times in a row uh, just to make sure it's dead because it's a zombie Walking Dead of course uh, so it would come very naturally to just punch him while he's down with these quick time events. But not hitting people is an option. They should say that in the game too. But it, a lot of times it isn't an option. A lot of the quick time events you do have to uh, punch back even if you don't want to. Uh, just to progress the story the way they want it to. And then join the discussion now at Telltale Games. At least unlike the newest versions of Telltale that throws you to a screen after this point uh, s saying sign up with your email and and all that at least here it's just trying to push you to the website but I think they're getting overly burdenous with all that stuff so with one major exception that being the random nudity that did not need to be in this game it doesn't need to be in the game it, like the witcher 3 uh, i recorded the series hundreds of hours at least probably and there's probably only like 10 minutes in the entire game of nudity but having it there not having a toggle to turn it off just makes tons of extra work for a youtuber it puts it at a higher rating with some parents so there's a lot of parents that don't care about a million bad words being said it doesn't even get hurt by the parents these days uh, some parents and I don't know why I said these days like I'm an old fogey I hardly am but if you happen to be walking past a, a computer that your kids playing on and you see a topless girl uh, the reaction in America in the United States particularly is a lot worse than if they just happen to overhear one curse word um, 
or so, or even a bunch of curse words. They've actually, in this episode, if I'm recalling correctly, had pretty, a lot less curse words than the first episode. <laughs> so uh, they, they kind of balanced it out. I don't know why they would do that. I think, I think you kind of just need to keep everything, try to, try to keep everything family friendly. I tried to do that with my channel. I probably have cussed. I, I can't guarantee I won't, but I don't sit there and say it a lot. I try to hold myself back. And in general, in life, you will find that it is helpful to do that, to train yourself. You're better off going, uh, and, um, than just cursing, which often a lot of people start cursing because they, they're using it as replacements for, uh, and, um, but that doesn't serve you in practically any career choice at all to cuss. Yep. So we missed a couple more uh, books of fables. Georgie Porgy. See, they're barely even making any connection here. Clever hands. I wonder what story that's from. As in case of his noted fable where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Uh, I don't even know this fairy tale. And here's Nerissa. They're, they're kind of uh, pooping on your childhood a, a bit here. Like donkey skin for instance. Uh, not a story I knew, so it doesn't really matter that she gets murdered. The wolf and the woodsman is not too bad, but then when you start getting to like a beloved character like L Little Mermaid, I guess she is really the only really beloved character in my mind, and you're turning her into a prostitute, that's uh, no fun. No bueno. Uh, so we got three achievements. We got chapter four done. Uh, and chapter five. And then all of episode two. So nothing really special there. What's the player choices look like when they're... Uh, yeah. I finally figured out who the guy was. That's... Face husband in the top left. It's just has him at a strange angle, so he looks kind of like Voldemort. Uh, they should have put names under it. Anywho, that's enough screwing around with all that. So, again, if I was going to try and collect everything, I think I'd probably have to go all the way back to the beginning of this. Uh, episode and frankly I've missed enough now that it feels like you kind of need a walkthrough uh, just if you want to collect everything there's not it's not giving you enough opportunities to do it which does open the door to wanting to play the game a second time but even if I was to play it a second time, I'm not sure I'd 100% uh, actually collect everything. And I like the rewind ability, so you don't have to play it all over, but the rewind is only going to get you so far, and you may end up playing four-fifths of the entire game just to unlock those few fable, book of fable th entries. But I kind of like this concept too. I like this investigative gameplay. I like how it's actually being gameplay. We're actually missing things. We're actually affecting the outcomes by playing poorly or missing things that we should have looked at. Whereas every other Telltale game that I've played uh, in this style, Telltale made, made a few other games that weren't in this story point and click adventure style. Every other one in this style has not required really any uh, skill. Just do the quick time events. If you can do the quick time events, you're fine. 
anything you pick in your dialogue will change the outcome but you'll still get to the same end and your ending isn't going to be abruptly shorter than the ending of anybody else. So this is actual an actual game. I, I hate to call the other ones not games, but this feels a lot more like an actual game. And I am definitely intrigued. We've got this episode, episode 3 next time that we'll start on, and then episode 4 and episode 5, and then we'll be done. It doesn't seem too short, it doesn't seem too long. I, I'm enjoying it so far and I look forward to it. And that's it for this episode. So as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and to watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.